Hello everybody, it's Justin, and I am playing Final Fantasy IX. Uh, this is such a such a classic. It's underrated. I'm glad that the PS4 has re-released it. So this is pretty cool, and because it's been updated graphically in terms of fidelity, I can actually see what these characters look like because, like, even. Even back in the day in PlayStation 1, it was still pretty ugly. The polygons in the game were really ugly, and it's just like a bunch of blocks kind of doing blocky things. The backgrounds looked fantastic, but the, the models were just, like, I can't, I couldn't tell what anything was, almost. Because <laughs> of the style of it and the low polygons, so it's really, really cool to see the detail of these characters and see all that kind of stuff. But anyway. Okay, so what I saw today was, man... It just seems like it's one of those type of deals where, and he's been going on about this for a while, the Lord's been going on about this for a while, where he's talking about just how, like, something's going to just sweep through the nation, you know, and I think, I feel that it's going to be more financially, fi something to do with finances, or some kind of, something is not good is going to happen. And a lot of people who are going to, who need to be in a position to where they're financially independent is going to be a very, very serious issue. It's like, it's like, like almost since like, it's like a thief was going to just kind of sweep through the entire nation or something like that, you know, it's just going to overlook certain households or whatever, you know, it's kind of like how death was going through, um, uh, through the through the nation and it skipped over the people who had the blood of the lamb. I, I can sense it's like something almost like that. And you know, in some ways it's scary, but in other ways it's it's gonna be this like he gave me this vision of this cross and it was just like, you know, but the power that was just radiating from it at, at the base of it was just like this huge explosion, you know what I'm saying? Like, the explosion could just encompass the entire nation, you know? It was like that. So, again, don't get excited. I'm sorry, America's not gonna blow up. It's not. Sorry. That's not what's happening. So what's happening is that there's gonna be this explosion of the Holy Spirit just being swept over this entire nation. It's just gonna shake it to its to its core. Like, right down to its roots. It's gonna shake it. It's gonna be something that we've never seen before. And that's what the Lord was prophesying even the other day. Well, or the Lord was telling me to even the other day was that this act of love, this great love, is going to be something that the world has not seen before. And, again, I'm very excited about that. Because I think this. I think that Christianity has had the excuse of being, frankly, kind of lazy in, in some ways, because we gave over our institutions to the government. Like, hospitals, orphanages, you know, like... <laughs> We we gave it over to them. So now the world thinks that, oh, well, we have these institutions, you know, that we created ourselves, uh, public education, you know. We have all these institutions that um, we invented ourselves, and it's like, no, it wasn't that way before. <laughs> that was us. That was us taking care of people. And this opportunity is coming to where that can happen again. And it's only going to happen through love. That's it. It's not going to happen through your stupid spiritual brownie point list. It's not going to happen through, you know, your degrees or your plaques or your deep theological understanding of the Bible and everything. You know, it's going to happen through one way, one way only, love. If you don't have that, you're resounding, gong, and clinging symbols. So you might as well go ahead and get started. <laughs> you might as well get started. This thing is going to be won by love. I've seen, I've seen it. I've seen that where the intellectual has won the day. Even though I'm not messing with those people's ministry, because some people do want to know: Do I have to give, do I have to commit intellectual suicide in order to become a believer? And I'm glad there's people out there who are submitting that that's not true at all. So, like your Robbie Zacharias, your William, your William Lane Craig's, those type of guys and, uh, and and people, you know, I'm really thankful about those guys. But that's not going to win the day. It's going to win the day. It's going to be love. Because that's the closest thing to God himself that we have. Because God is love. So, think about that and meditate on that. But, something's coming. Like I said, something's coming. And be prepared. 
save up your money be a good steward that's all he's asking you to do that's already you know from the jump of the book be a good steward manage these things that he's giving you well it's not all for you it's not all for you and even the things where the the wealth of the wicked are going to be laid up for the for those in christ i mean like or the wealth of the wicked be raised for uh will be given to to the righteous like be prepared for that too like just be prepared Jeez, manage well. Things come to you when you manage things well. It doesn't matter who it is. But the first thing that he gave Adam in the garden was to manage what he had given Adam. Manage this whole planet thing. Manage it well. Manage this garden. Manage her well. Manage everything well. Manage it. First thing he's always to do, manage. So, let's begin to manage better and... Some resources to check that out would be uh, Dr. Miles Monroe. Actually, he's the authority on it, so I'll just leave it at that for the most part. <laughs> he's very, very good at it. Dave Ramsey is also very, very good in terms of managing and doing things, uh, better things for your wealth. I'll have some links in the description to those guys in their sort of website or whatever you know below. But anyway, guys, that's my time. Loves and hugs, and I will see you, Lord willing, in the next video. You can find out more ways to support me in the description uh, below all the links and everything you know so that's my time and bye bye thank you once again to my patreon supporters it means so much to me just look at them just look at these people just look at it